And we begin here at 630 with what remains on the top of minds for so many people tonight. The wildfires in our state. The McBride fire in Ruidoso has already cemented itself as one of the most destructive in New Mexico history. More than 200 homes gone and two people died in this fire. Students in Rio Doso were back in the classroom today for the first time since the McBride fire started one week ago. And we saw images like this one here of a fast moving fire that started really close to the school. And today all evacuations in Rio Doso have been lifted and thankfully the McBride fire is now 84% contained. And when firefighters go to work, they expect to go through a lot when these fires burn. Brutal conditions, long days, sometimes dangerous situations, but they probably don't expect to be victims of crime. And that's exactly what some firefighters are now dealing with tonight. Alex Ross explains how some people decided to show their appreciation by vandalizing equipment. Since last Tuesday, fire crews have worked around the clock to contain the McBride fire. And in response, signs of gratitude have appeared throughout Riodoso, which make reports of vandalized fire equipment all the more shocking. Authorities say four utility terrain vehicles, better known as UTVs, were found damaged at the end of Eagle Creek Canyon Road Monday morning. The UTVs, which look like these, were parked in the area by firefighters following a long day of work. The next morning, they were found damaged. And um, sometime overnight, some vandals got in there, uh, looked like they kind of ransacked the vehicles looking for whatever they could maybe steal. DeFries says no equipment was in the vehicles at the time other than a pair of bolt cutters which were missing Monday. Two of the vehicles had the ignitions punched out so it was clear they were trying to steal the vehicles. Crews were soon provided replacement vehicles. UTVs are often used to access steep terrain and transport materials to and from fires. Free said vandalism like this rarely happens during a wildfire and can hamper the firefighting response. Uh, to start your day and and have this in front of you when you arrive to grab your vehicles obviously slows them down. It slows down their plan for the day. A message from the U.S. Forest Service posted on the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office Facebook page said no arrests had been made as of Tuesday afternoon and that anyone with information should call the Sheriff's Office. In Rio Doso, Alex Ross, KOB4.